I'm Jay Monreal with your Fox 4 News update. 8,000 acres. That's how much land the Collier County wildfires have burned as of 6 p.m. Thursday. Separate fires merged together. That combined with windy conditions led to an uphill battle for firefighters who have only contained about 10% of the fire. Many homes and vehicles have been destroyed in the fire's wake. Evacuations continue in the vicinity of Golden Gate Estates. During a visit to Collier County, the governor urged residents to do the right thing and evacuate when told. If you feel you are at risk and having some breathing problems, there are two shelters open in Naples. Max A. Hass Community Park, that's on Golden Gate Boulevard West, and Golden Gate Community Center on Golden Gate Parkway. If you live in an area threatened by the fires, you can park your vehicle, trailer, boat, or other equipment at the Collier County Fairgrounds and the Swamp Buggy Grounds. They open their lots and fields to let you have a safe place for storage. Charlotte County Fire and EMS worked another fast-moving brush fire in the Placida Sands neighborhood Thursday. As of 6 p.m. Thursday, the fire is 60 acres and 95% contained. One structure is damaged and two homes evacuated. All right, skies mostly cloudy overnight tonight. We're going to continue with that breezy easterly wind that we've had the past two to three days. That won't be changing into tonight or tomorrow. A few isolated showers possible late tonight. Temperatures upper 60s to near 70. Uh, looks like we're going to go lows so right around 71 degrees. Highs tomorrow, 83. So the cloud cover, chances for showers and storms keeping temperatures down. East winds 5 to 15. Seven-day forecast, so those chances for rain. Uh, actually going down for the weekend, only a slight chance for Saturday afternoon. And then uh, next front arrives on Tuesday with more opportunities for rain possible. As it looks like we're going to try to kick in the rainy season here towards the end of next week in the next weekend.